Let's go. There's a police of franchise on the western highway near Chumash. Take us there. My goodness. Word of warning, we're on the job right now. So don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So please. So my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex. <laughs> Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back, taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> all right, so why is the bank over all the other banks <laughs> my in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. All right. Fear. Shit! You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or for the IRS. Ugh. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being look at bonds being hidden from the tax man, but no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it, if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view, <laughs> nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate... Oh boy! Oh my goodness! Power, incarceration, and homicide, yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious... Man, robbery. you are quite the driver. You're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not-talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay. Well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Um, small joint. Not much security. Staff won't give a crap. <laughs> Especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind a safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. Hmm. Okay, Pac-Man. Cool, I like this. Great idea, Rockstar. Great idea for hacking. spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mm, charming as ever. Okay. See you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job. Things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. 
If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite cock and Excuse me! Outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo All right, where were we? Ah, masks. Paige, oh yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Hey, passenger seat. Did you get into their network? Yes. Good work. There's Page. We're leaving this car. Taking the truck. What car? This is a pile of junk now. Uh, I should be using my cane. Hey. Oh, you insist on driving. Just perfect. Great. Now it's back to the apartment. So, you want to get out and check, go down inventory, or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold alls, masks. Look out! My goodness. The files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough to make us all look real suspicious. A nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. They're going to charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants on and a hard on. Hey! And a hard on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheese professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. And until you and me start playing low rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. She's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. God damn it. Don't you dare smash into the Aston Martin. And you won't have access to my private garage. Thank God. Okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Now, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Is that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right. <it's laughs> You're only going to need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of Getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Okay, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs. All right. Okay.
Understood. Right. Crew full choice, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. Hard, of course. Hard all the way. Yep, I'm ready. Nope, you're not driving this, sorry. Hello, can you hear me? I'll be here to talk you through all these jobs. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, the car. Okay, you're on the way to Del Perro. A Koreatown stick-up crew's been using a parking lot as a base for scores. Uh, they're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some uh, mini major robberies. I'd expect them to be packing, and I'd expect them to be paranoid. Come to think of it, you won't find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia. So be careful. You can now. Right, let's do this. Masks, eh? Still not. I think they are on the top floor. Boy. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, boy.
Suppress a fire, suppress a fire. Careful. That's a good idea, I was thinking. Let have some energy now for suppressive fire. Oh boy, this is all right. Thank God, this is bulletproof. You got the car? Now drop any cops or gangsters or whoever you got coming after you, and bring it to my garment factory. And try not to damage the car too much. You can't rob a bank in a wrecked car. If you think you can get away from the cops in a wrecked car, then go ahead. <laughs> Trash it, sure. If the exhaust on that car is dragging. 